Hi all! This is going to be a really short video to show how to make a couch arm table out of some really easy to find supplies. And the first one here is a collapsible tabletop, if you want to call it that, from Ikea. And as you can see, it's draped around the side of my round couch arm, which doesn't really do much if I want to put a bowl or a cup or a glass of wine on top of it because it's going to fall over. Might as well just put it right on the sofa edge. But the neat thing about this is it works really well on an ottoman or if you have a square armed sofa or couch or chair arm, then it works really, really well in terms of providing a flat surface and then it's got the edges. But since I don't have that, I thought, how can I do something with this so that I have the square flat top? So I'm going to show you a few things to hack this and make it into the table that I want and make it really cheap. So I'm going to turn this off for a second and then put this over on the table with my other supplies so you can see what we're going to be working with. So these are the three things we're going to be working with here. The first one and hopefully you can see this, okay? This is the Ikea item number. You can either order it if you're lucky like me and you live near an Ikea, you can just go pick it up. And when they have these things, they tend to sell out really fast because people will buy two or three or even four of them so that they can put them on poofs and ottomans and sofas and all sorts of things to have a flat surface for whatever you want a flat surface for. The second, because I don't have any boards hanging around anymore. I've pretty much used up all my spare lumber. I went to Lowe's and I got this Rubbermaid shelf, which is about nine and a half inches wide or deep, and then about 24 inches long. And I'm actually going to cut that down to the width of the uh, Ikea piece here. So it's probably only going to be about 12 inches. So I'll have another 12 inch board. Um, the reason I went ahead with this is twofold. Number one, Milo's was out of just regular lumber that was about this size and a little bit shorter. But also, um, this is actually cheaper and it's already in the color that I need it to be. As you can kind of see, the rest of my woodwork uh, and cabinetry is actually this very deep espresso brown. So this will work really well. Obviously, there's going to be, when I saw it, there's going to be an open edge. And all I will have to do is paint it with the exi existing um, cabinetry paint that I have. And it will look pretty much exactly the same. The last thing that I have, and this is what I have on hand, but you could use all sorts of different um, items, is this 3M Dual Lock, which is the heavy-duty kind of Velcro fastener, which works really well in a tiny home or RV where you want things to really hold and not fall down uh, because of motion when you're moving around or just because um, it's easier to put things up with it. So those are the three major items that I'm going to use. And what I'll be doing is I will be putting a couple of small pieces of the dual lock and attaching it to the back, even though this is fabric, I'm going to attach it with um, epoxy glue so that these pieces I'll be able to take off the board and use it just as the flat piece on its own or I can put the board on it and it will be a couch table. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pause this and we will come back when I am done uh, sawing the board down and ha having assembled it. Next steps before I cut the board, I also want to show that on one side of the board I am leaving six slats and then on the other side of the board which is a little under 10 inches wide I'm leaving seven slats. I measured this because the sofa arm on my couch which is an Ektorp also from Ikea that's about the length that this side can be to be able to fall freely and not jam into the sofa cushion. So if you're going to do something like this make sure that you do measure the drop from the top of the couch arm down to where it would uh, fall into the couch so you don't make it so that it's too tall for the actual couch. Then you'd have to add a second board underneath this or a thicker board underneath it to accommodate for that. So we'll pause this again. Okay, next steps. I have attached the dual lock 
and I've attached it with epoxy to the fabric and it's pretty well adhered. Over time it might uh, loosen up but that's easy to add more sealant. So what I've done now is I've taken off the tape here so that I can actually put the board and I've also made some marks here so I know where I'm trying to go here. So I'm going to go ahead and set this down as close to the marks as I can and it looks like I'm a little bit off on the top and now a little bit off on the bottom. There we go. Okay and then I'm just going to press those two sections together. Um, I did a little bit of a crummy job on this side as you can see. The saw that I thought I had I've lent out to a friend so I had to use a much rougher saw so it doesn't look as good but um, it's perfectly fine so it's going to be on the downside. So I will go ahead and let this sit for a little while and then as soon as that has adhered a little bit better then I will put it in place and you can see what it looks like. Okay then so there we go. It works pretty well. It's pretty flat. There is a little bit of some movement side to side. Not very much, but I probably will put perhaps little pieces of wood that drop down from that top piece, but I'll wait and see if I even need to. But I'm really happy with it. So it gives a good, probably about a good eight inches by 12 inches. So a glass here, um, a bowl of popcorn or something like that, or ice cream, um, or cereal, and that's it. So, hope you enjoyed it.